What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm here in Parachi, Brazil. So I'm here in the beautiful colonial town of Parachi, Brazil. Um, I was here four years ago and I absolutely love it here. Um, but it's been a while and I didn't really shoot it well last time. So on this episode, I kind of want to walk you around and kind of take you through the mindset of what it's like to be a travel photographer in a destination you haven't been to or you haven't been to in a while. So what I'm going to do now, since it's the middle of the day, um, basically high noon and you can't really shoot anything high noon, is just wander around and lo location scout. So check out the church, check out the... Um, um, you know the canal and stuff like that not only look for cool locations But try to find out what's gonna shoot best at what time of day you got to think about things like um, Is the building gonna be lit up? Where's the Sun gonna be? Is it gonna be backlit? How's the sky gonna look? What's the weather gonna be like? So you really have to plan out all these things to make the most of your time I've got two sunsets and one sunrise to shoot so it, ideally I have three or four locations I can shoot um, So yeah, let's wander around whenever I wander I take my my camera usually I take my 70 to 200 um, wandering in the middle of the day because really the only thing you can shoot are details and and maybe portraits in the shadows and stuff like that in the middle of the day so let's wander around Parachi right now find some locations to shoot and then uh, and then eventually we'll shoot them let's go Okay, so I'm at location number one, which is like uh, the wave breaker here just on the edge of Parachi. Um, and the reason I love this location is really I can shoot three different things um, at the same time of day. So maybe just pre-sunrise I can shoot down these rocks and get a, you know, a classic landscape style image with the sun rising over that way. And with the sun rising over that way, it should cast a nice glow on the mountains in the background. And you've got this old church right there uh, in the foreground so with the telephoto lens in the morning I can shoot that and probably get a pretty dramatic image as long as there's a little bit of cloud in the sky right now there's absolutely no cloud so it's kind of killing it and then I can also shoot that way towards the beach again in the morning when the Sun is rising it'll cast like a nice glow you'll get nice soft light on the beach there so it really makes the perfect destination or the perfect location to shoot sunrise so uh, tomorrow morning you'll come back and shoot this first thing in the morning So I'm at my second location now, or the second location that I like here in Parachi, and it's right along the canal. And the reason I like this is you have these old buildings right on top of the water there. You've got that bridge crossing the canal, and sometimes at night some really cool boats come in here as well. So I think this is a great spot to shoot sunset, although I think I'm going to shoot this as my second sunset, as in tomorrow night rather than tonight, just because there's no clouds in the sky, and I think for this particular spot you need clouds in the sky. Um, the other reason I like this location is again there's multiple things, multiple um, types of shots to get here. I can also go up on that bridge and shoot landscape style images um, in both directions at sunset. So another cool location, we'll come back here tomorrow night and shoot it. Let's keep scouting. So I'm now in the cobblestoned and colorful old town of Parachi and this is where I'm going to come and shoot this evening tonight as the you know the golden hour and the blue hour hits and the reason I'm choosing this location of all the places in Parachi for tonight is because I really don't think you need clouds to make cool images here I think you just need cool blue hour light um, because the buildings will really stand out on their own so yeah that's it for the image scouting that's pretty typical for what I do when I arrive in a new location is I kind of just wander. I explore, I try to figure out some places to shoot, and then after I've done a little bit of location scouting, I go out and I shoot them. So um, it's about midday, I'm gonna grab some lunch, maybe relax on the beach, 
and then head out shooting. So stick with me, let's go shoot these locations. So that's it from Parachi, Brazil. Um, I hope, I think, I hope that this episode gave you a good look into what it's like to be a travel photographer and all the thought process that goes into shooting a location. Um, if you're a photographer, a, a travel photographer anywhere that lives somewhere that has a base um, that gets to spend a lot of time in the places that they shoot, you can wait for good light, you can postpone shoots, you can um, look at weather forecasts and you can do all those things and figure it out. When you're a travel photographer um, that only has three or four days in a location, you really have to shoot it, you really have to make do with the light you get and you have to like 
look at the situation and try to make sure you get the best out of it. Try to figure out what's going to look good in, in certain light or at sunset or at sunrise or in the middle of the day and all those things to make the most out of your time. I think I got some cool images from Parachi, so I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm in Rio de Janeiro ne um, right now, actually, and this is where the next episode is going to come from. So I'm going to be looking for the best, absolute best views <laughs> of Rio de Janeiro, which is an absolutely beautiful time. It's my third time here now. Um, so yeah, be sure to stay tuned for the next video coming from here in Rio de, Rio de Janeiro. Then we're off to the north of Brazil, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. I'll catch you next time. Peace.